up me o's it is Rowie here it is well technically it's wednesday night but it'll be thursday uh, it'll be you know, a little bit of uh, extra there behind the scenes it will actually be uh, thursday when i uh, when this goes live uh yeah um i'm gonna try and do an actual beer review here because um it's also before i say that and then i'm gonna point out that uh oh colin the cold saw he's come back so uh this is a, a Rowie and colin presentation yeah um quite a big one here um, a lot of people have been waiting for it. Um, it's no secret now that uh, it's been brewed. Uh, a lot of people who have been coming to the tap room and whatnot have been asking what was in the um, the bourbon barrels that have been um, that have been there now for a, well, they've been there now for a, well over a year and a bit. So um, we may as well uh, get the uh, get the first video done here. That was a rubbish introduction. That was such a rubbish introduction for what such a beer that is in. You wouldn't see, you know, you wouldn't see Rampant Lion fumbling and like picking up ketchup that was on his floor and blowing things. He probably would have got the little hair off of there before he started, but oh well, you know. I suppose that's the difference between, you know, the pros and uh, the pros and the rows. So yeah, but um, but yeah. And he doesn't say, but yeah, at the end of every sentence. But yeah, and uh, what we have here is a collaboration between Emperor's Brewery and Neon Raptor, and it is Fear the Rancor. And this is Bourbon Barrel Aged Defeat the Rancor, which came out, I think, uh, September 2021. Uh, half of that batch then went into um, Bourbon Barrels. And uh, yeah, so it spent the last 12 months. So it, this was actually canned a few, a few weeks ago, but we've just been sitting on it because we wanted to get Abandoned Dragons out. But this is... Um, yeah, 12 months in, uh, it was actually, in, again, it was in two, like um, Centre Army, it was in two different types of bourbon barrels, uh, Buffalo Trace and um, Heaven Hill. So it spent 12 months aging in those. So those are your bourbon barrels. And it is a pecan maple Danish imperial stout at 13.5%. Uh, when I checked yesterday, Emperor's Brewery currently stand at number 10 in the world on Untapped of the best breweries. So uh, yeah, I would also be lying if I was to say I hadn't already tried this. Uh, I had a can of this the about a week ago, and uh, yeah, it's phenomenal. And but I'm going to give you the blurb: maple and pecan Danish pastry imperial stout brewed with the emperor and then aged in bourbon barrels for twelve months. There's the balanced, rich sweetness of the original with extra layers of depth from the wood. Don't fear the rancor. So. Uh, yeah, I, I believe that's probably a line from that interminable Mandalorian show that you all seem to love for some bizarre reason. But yeah, well, that's enough about the blurb. The can art as well obviously looks absolutely fantastic on there. It looks, the camera and the light isn't doing it justice. But yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic in person. As always, Heather Rudd has done a fantastic uh, 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 job on the artwork. And uh just change slightly enough so uh, you can't sue, Lucas. You can't sue. And if you can, don't. Just don't, mate. You know, you're a billionaire. You don't need to. So, yeah, feel the rancor. Let's get it in the glass. I am, oddly enough, I'm not going to get to take my time over this one as much as I want, like, off camera. Because I'm off to the cinema in, like, 40 minutes to go watch um, Cocaine Bear, which uh, I can't wait to watch that absolute nonsense so yeah the emperor's glass as it's only fitting oh, looks the dirtiest it's ever been let's get that in there yeah i originally wanted to do this one tomorrow to get it up for friday but um this is actually going to be on sale in the neon raptor tap room tomorrow from 4 p.m it won't be on draft there's only one keg of it exists so it won't be on draft but it will be available in cans and uh I didn't want like that cheeky little raggy to get down there before me and uh, you know get it slurped. So uh, yeah, look at that jet jet black there. Do you know what I mean? Like absolutely jet black. Nice tan head, which is keeping surprisingly well. But yeah, let's get us let's get us conking and let's get a little uh, straight away. You you know you're gonna be drinking a beer with this one. Like as soon as you're getting there. You just get bourbon, the bourbon barrels hit you as soon as that gets up there. Bourbon barrel, blah, blah, blah. bourbon barrels, the vanilla's there. And tons of maple syrup on the nose. Let's not mess around any longer. I can't wait to get stuck into this. 
So uh, yeah, let's get it bloody sloped. Oh, oh my days. That is so thick. That is, does this, I think this does contain lactose. Yeah, this does contain lactose. That is thick. It's creamy. You get the, you, the, the bourbon barrel aging, the, the barrels straight away. So you're getting the sort of like vanilla from that. You're getting the oak. And then just at the back of that, there's just this, oh. Just this unctuous imperial stout that is so thick. Mm. If you enjoyed, um, gosh, sorry, I'm like, I'm almost moved to tears by how good it is. If uh, if you enjoyed Defeat the Rancor, then you are 100% in for a treat with this one. And this one is, um, it's a, the batch size is about the same as um, Barrel H Centre Army, I believe. So there is, um, there's a decent amount going on sale, but still don't sit on it because this will, I can imagine this one will fly out. It's, there's enough booze there so that you know you're having a, you know you're having an ale. But um, look at that poor, look at that poor, pouring like a bastard. But yeah. Whew. It was actually, uh, it ended the streak of um, IPAs, double IPAs and triple IPAs, didn't it? Um, yeah, I, I ended up going out last night and having a bit too much to drink, to be honest with you, because I was going to get either Verdant Putty, the P Putty Tipper, or uh, I've also got a can of the Neon Raptor um, Garage, Garage um, double IPA as well. So I'll try and get one of those up on Friday, maybe. But uh, yeah, that is... Absolutely bloody wonderful. Oh. You don't want to miss out on this one. You really, really don't. To piss off the nerds, I might, um, I might get another can of this and do a uh, Fear the Rancor Bourbon Barrel Aged Centaur Army Mega Blend. See what's going on with that. See what that's saying. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, that was a proper video as well, that one, wasn't it? Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, always uh, always helps. It's always uh, very nice to see. But yeah, thank you so much you did. Uh, honestly, get down to the tap room for this, either tomorrow or Friday. I'm sure, well, with any luck, there'll still be some left on Saturday. But uh, yeah, also, it'll be on sale on the usual sort of uh, Neon Raptor Online. And uh, I know Brew Cavern are going to get some from Monday. And... Uh, a few other places in Nottingham are going to be getting it, but yeah, don't don't sit on this. And uh, yeah, if you uh, if you don't see it in your local bottle shops, ask them to get that in. Tell them tell them Roby sent you, but tell them to email me directly so uh, I get the commission. Yeah, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe. Yeah, take care of yourself. See you in a bit. Yeah, bye bye. bye, bye.